Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, I'm going to explain about the concept of natural selection. Natural selection occurs due to variation among individuals in a population. Variation is defined as the differences in characteristics of phenotypes within a species. For example, in a population of fish, there are a few different types of body color. Some of them are as green as the aquatic plants growing around them. Some of them are bright yellow, while many others are somewhere in between. When a predator arrives at the habitat, it becomes the selection pressure or the selective agent. This is the factor that acts on the population, affecting the fish's ability to survive in this environment. Due to the variation, the fishes have unequal chances to survive. Natural selection occurs and determines which one of them has a higher chance to live on. Those fishes with green-colored bodies can camouflage well. They can hide easily from the predator. They are said to have a selective advantage. Those with the body color from another extreme are not so lucky. They can't camouflage and are spotted easily by the predator. They are said to have a selective disadvantage. They will be killed more easily compared to their green friends. Those who have a selective advantage will survive and breed. They pass on the beneficial allele, which gives them the green color body to their offspring. The allele frequency of this particular allele increases in the gene pool. After some time, the color of fish in that population will have a shift. More and more of them are green now, whereas the yellow color variant decreases they may even disappear altogether. This population has evolved. They are now more adapted to their environment as most of them have a great ability to camouflage. This is how variation leads to natural selection and causes the evolution of a population. Antibiotic resistance in bacteria is another good example of natural selection. First, there is variation in the population of bacteria. Some of them contain mutated alleles, which lead to antibiotic resistance. For example, an allele that gives them the ability to break down the antibiotic molecule. This mutated allele may be pre-existing, which means it is passed down from the ancestor, or the mutation occurs in the individual itself. When an antibiotic is applied to the population of bacteria, it acts as the selective agent, as it provides the selection pressure. The resistance strain has a selective advantage, so they survive. The ones without the resistant allele are susceptible. They are killed as they have a selective disadvantage. The resistance strain will reproduce and pass on the beneficial allele to the next generation. This is called vertical transmission. The frequency of the resistant allele in the population increases. The process repeats and causes more and more members of the population to have the antibiotic resistance. The population has evolved. It is very possible that after some time, the antibiotic is completely useless against the bacteria. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.